uh, I go to the uh, ophthalmologist once a year, get my eyes checked, and he always gives me this little test with the cross hatches for the straight lines for macular degeneration. And right now I have no problem, and I have been taking lutein probably for 15 years. And I drink a little red wine, and I, I asked my eye doctor when I went to him in the fall, and he mentioned this AREDS2 formula, and I think I heard that mentioned. It's age-related eye something. Uh, and I haven't looked for it in the store. Is this is this going to be labeled AREDS2? Yes. Yes, there are several different manufacturers, and that is that second phase of the age-related eye disease study. And it's one of the best-run studies, at least in ophthalmology, very well run by the National Institute of Health, and so or National Eye Institute. And so what that did was take a large cohort, a large number of patients who had high-risk features of macular degeneration, and give them a very specific formula of vitamins and see what happened, who progressed and whose disease worsened and, you know, and depending on what diet they had and depending on which supplement com combination they had. And that formula that decreased the rate of progression of disease is now labeled the age-related eye disease 2 formula. And that is the formula that has vitamin C, vitamin E, a lower dose of zinc than the original formula, lutein and zeaxanthine in it. And they also tested omega-3 fatty acids as well and didn't show as clear a benefit, um, although they didn't show anything that was uh, detrimental either. So uh, that's a safer formula uh, than the AREDS-1 formula that included beta carotene. And that's what I was talking about earlier, can have some risk for smokers or former smokers. So yes, you should look for the AREDS-2 formula. The vitamins will be labeled AREDS-2, A-R-E-D-S-2. And uh, there are a number of different manufacturers like Preservision, Occupy Preservision, um, eye caps. There are many, many different ones. Some you can get online, some your doctor's office will have available, and others are just in the pharmacy. They should be easy to find, though. So, um, so should everybody take those? Well, everybody who has these fe features that were studied in that, in that study should. So they're generally high-risk features for the dry type of macular degeneration turning into the wet type. And one important thing that the caller said as well is that there's that little checkerboard that's checked every time he goes to the doctor. Mm -hmm. That has a name. It's called an Amsler grid. It's a little early at-home way of screening for a change from the dry type of macular degeneration to the wet type. And the wet type is actually where most of the vision loss is. And it's something that we can now treat very successfully with medication. So if we find out that somebody has early changes on that Amsler grid test, and we bring the patient in and we see that they have a conversion to the wet type of macular degeneration, the sooner they receive treatment, the more likely it is that they'll preserve vision. So it's a very, very important test. And in fact, it's not a bad thing to just have that at home they're easy to find. You can print it out online and check one eye at a time on a daily basis looking for those changes. Interesting. Yeah, Interesting. really important thing. I was glad he mentioned that too. <laughs>